In this video, we will see how can we value a stock. One of the main reasons that people lose money in the stock market is that they do not know how to value any stock or they do not pay any attention to valuation of stock. When you know how to value a stock, you will be confident of your buy, hold and sell decision and will not panic if any position starts to go against you. If you are in a loss, you will not panic and sell and thus permanently lose your capital. When you know how to value a stock, you will be better placed at protecting your capital in the stock market. Using the simple valuation tool, we will value a stock. One of the biggest advantages of using the simple valuation tool is that it will help you buy stocks with a margin of safety, which will protect your capital even if something goes wrong and which will help you to be in profit soon after you buy any stock. You will notice that mostly people are stuck in lost positions for months and even for years. With margin of safety, you need not be stuck in a lost position forever. Now, using simple valuation tool, we will value Tata Alexi, which is an IT company. We will go to value stock and then select simple valuation. We will look up Tata Alexi and then press go button. Once you press the go button, you'll be taken to either standalone or consolidated valuation. Since Tata Alexi does not have any subsidiary, you'll be taken to standalone valuation. For instance, if you look up Bajaj Finance, you'll be taken to consolidated valuation because there are subsidiaries that operate under Bajaj Finance. To know more about whether to value any stock on standalone or consolidated basis, please have a look at video lesson 8.10 in module 8. Now let us go ahead with the valuation. This is the valuation form where all the calculation will happen. We will now explain step by step how to value any stock. The first thing that you will be required to do is to determine how much net profit can be earned by a company in the next 12 months. You can do this in a couple of ways. The first way will be to provide your own estimate of the net profit that Tata Alexi can earn in the next 12 months. If you have done a research and if you think that Tata Alexi can earn 250 crore in next 12 months, then enter that figure here. If you are on a desktop or a laptop and if you hover your cursor over the net profit forecast field, you will be able to find out how much net profit any company has reported in the last 12 months. You can often do a valuation based on the net profit reported in the last 12 months. So here you can use this figure of 245 crore and do a valuation. The second way will be to use net historical which is a property algorithm that will look into several variables and will churn the historical data points to provide you an estimate of the net profit that can be earned by the company in the next 12 months. Now in this example, we will move forward with the estimate given by net historical. The second step will be to determine the discount rate. The discount rate is already provided. This discount rate of 7.5% is the yield of the 10 year risk free bond. You may provide your own discount rate, but it is strongly recommended that you keep the discount rate at 7.5% across all stock valuation so that all investment opportunities are evaluated on common ground. The third step will be to do a valuation based on no growth scenario. In any valuation that we will do, it will always be better to first get a sense of no growth scenario in which we are assuming that there will be no long term growth in the net profit of Tata Alexi. So in a no growth valuation, the long term growth will be 0%. Let us go ahead with the no growth valuation and press the calculate button. The fourth step will be to check on the forecast and do a validation. Once you press the calculate button, you will be presented with the forecast. If you are on a desktop or a laptop and if you hover your cursor over EPS, ROE and ROA fields, you will be presented with insights that will help you get a better sense of forecast. For instance, for ROE, we will get this insight that the 5 year average of ROE and ROIC is 38.92%. 
Please note that for the financial companies such as banks, you will have to consider ROA. Now we will have to validate the returns. Let us go to the performance table and see how Tata Alexi has done in terms of returns. Here you will see that after 2014, Tata Alexi's return on equity and return on invested capital are greater than 30%, which are excellent returns. What we can validate from this table is that Tata Alexi mostly reports a ROE and ROIC of at least 30%, and thus our forecast of 30% appears to be in line with the historical returns of Tata Alexi. The fifth step will be to check on the valuation. Please note that if you are on a laptop or a desktop and if you hover your cursor over fair price to book, forward PE and fair market capitalization field, you will be presented with insights. Here we see that based on a net profit estimate, the fair price to book of Tata Alexi is 4.09 and that the current price to book is 4.89 which is around 52% less than the historical price to book. We also see that the forward PE is 15.82 meaning if we were to buy Tata Alexi at the close price of 737 rupees as on April 15, 2020, we will be paying 15.82 times the forward earning of FY21. Our no growth valuation tells us that the fair market capitalization of Tata Alexi should be around 3850 crore rupees and that the fair share price of Tata Alexi should be around 618 rupees. Now, here the question is, is the fair value of Tata Alexi is only 3850 crore rupees? In another words, is Tata Alexi only worth 3850 crore rupees? The sixth step will be to check on the margin of safety and do a validation. Please note that if you are on a desktop or a laptop and if you hover your cursor over discounted price to book and discounted PE, you will be presented with important insights that you should always use. Here we see that the discounted price to book is 2.86 which is around 71% less than the historical price to book and that the discounted PE is 9.33 which is around 67% less than the historical PE. What discounted price to book of 2.86 and discounted PE of 9.33 and discounted share price are telling you is that it may be safe to buy Tata Alexi when it trades below a price to book of 2.86 and below a PE of 9.33 and when it trades below 433 rupees. Now let us move to the valuation table and see how Tata Alexi had traded in the last 10 years. Please note that if you are on a desktop or a laptop and if you hover your cursor over current price to book PE, EV to EBIT and EV to EBITDA and price to sales, you will be presented with insights. Use those insights to get better sense of the current valuation. We see here that Tata Alexi has never traded at a price to book that is less than 3.10 and that Tata Alexi has never traded at a P that is less than 17.10. 97 and thus our discounted price to book and price to earnings appear to be too discounted in that we may never get an opportunity to buy Tata Alexi as such discounted valuations. However, if we get an opportunity, we will certainly buy it given our no growth valuation. We have seen that given the historical valuation, it appears our valuation is too discounted and thus we need to build in some long term growth in the valuation. The seventh step will be to build in a long term growth valuation when a valuation is too discounted. We can build in a long term valuation in couple of ways. The first way will be to provide your own estimate of the long term growth. If you have done a research and if you think that Tata Alexi is long term growth can be around 6% then you can enter that figure here. The second way will be to use grow historical which is our property algorithm that will look into several variables and will churn the historical data points to provide you an estimate of the long term growth. It must be noted that whether any valuation will be rewarded with any long term growth will depend on consistent growth in both sales and EPS 
and on the return on equity and return on invested capital and on the return on assets. Here we will move forward with the estimate given by Grow Historical and do a valuation. Let us click on the calculate button. You will notice that after the long term growth is built into the valuation, the forecast such as EPS and ROE and the forward PE will not change because the net profit estimate has not changed. However, you will notice that the valuation has changed. It has increased the fair price to book, the fair market capitalization and the fair share price have increased. The valuation has increased because we have built in a long term growth into the valuation. It must be noted that growth has this property of increasing valuation and thus whenever you build in any growth in a valuation, the valuation increases. Now let us focus our attention on the margin of safety which now tells us that it will be safe to buy Tata Lexi when it trades at a discounted price to book of 7.18 and a discounted price to earnings of 23.43. The discounted PB is around 29% less than the historical PB and the discounted PE is around 90% less than the historical PE. Now it appears that the margin of safety may not be adequate at a discounted price to book of 7.18 and at a discounted PE of 23.43 and thus we would like to build in a greater margin of safety. The A step will be to make adjustment to net profit forecast and long term growth forecast if required. Now we will make an adjustment to the long term growth so that we get a better margin of safety. We know that Tata Lexi has global operation and that it is very likely that its long term growth prospect will be aligned to the global GDP growth which is estimated at 3%. Let us go ahead with this valuation. Now we see that after a 3% long term growth is built into the valuation, the discounted price to book is 4.30 which is around 57% less than the historical price to book and that the discounted PE is 14.03 which is around 51% less than the historical PE. Furthermore, margin of safety is telling us that it may be safe to buy Tata Lexi when it trades below 651 rupees. Valuation is not an exact science and you will have to consider different scenarios so that you build some margin of safety for yourself. Please remember these important points whenever you are doing a valuation using simple valuation tool. Point number one, be conservative and work out the worst case scenarios. The second point is that first get a sense of no growth scenario. What will be the valuation if we assume no growth in a company's earnings? The third important point is that always validate your valuation against the historical data points and avoid buying any stock at a valuation that is greater than the historical valuation. For example, if Tata Alexi's historical price to book is 10, you will not buy it when it is trading at a price to book of 15 